Section 2.5 is applications of sets. So we're going to take what we did in section 2.3 with the Venn diagrams with two sets and section 2.4 the Venn diagrams with three sets and we're going to start putting these in story problems to and use Venn diagrams to solve applications. So just so you know whenever you see the word application that means story problem. We're going to start with an example that's only going to use two sets. At Erie Community College, a survey was taken to determine where students studied on campus. Of those 250 surveyed, it was determined that 167 studied in the library, 138 studied in the cafeteria, and 75 studied in both the library and the cafeteria. So first thing we need to do in this situation is we need to develop a Venn diagram. So I'm going to make us some room. We need to draw our universal set. Our universal set is going to be um, all the students we surveyed about where they study. Okay, And then um, we have one set that is going to involve the library. And we have one set that is going to involve the cafeteria. And then the outside represents students that study somewhere besides the library and the cafeteria. Now, in general, you want to start with the middle region. You want to start with the students that studied in both the library and the cafeteria. And according to this survey, 75 students studied in both. So that's going to go in the middle. Once you have that placed, you can work your way out. Okay, so we know that there was 167 students in the library um, that studied in the library total. Now that includes the 75 that's already in the center wedge. So we need to take the 167 and deduct the middle portion to find out how many study in the library and the library only. So that would give you 92 students that are in the library. Then we need to look at the cafeteria. 138 students study in the cafeteria. Again, that includes the 75 that's already been accounted for in the middle. So we need to subtract to find out how many just go to the cafeteria. And that is 63 students. Now we need to decide if any students should go on the outside of the circle. So we surveyed 250 people. 92 of them only study in the library. 75 of them study in both the library and the cafeteria. And 63 study only in the cafeteria. So if we deduct all three of those figures from 250, you will see that there's 20 students left over. So out of the 250 people surveyed, 20 people don't study in the library or the cafeteria. They go somewhere else. Maybe that's their dorm room. Um, maybe that's Starbucks. But they don't belong in either of the sets. Okay, now that you have your Venn diagram created, you can start answering questions. And they'll typically um, have some questions for you after the Venn diagrams made. Okay, so the first question. Of those surveyed, how many people did not study in either the library or the cafeteria? Okay, so the people that didn't do either is going to be um, the people that landed in the um, rectangle but not in the circle. Okay, so you can say that 20 people um, studied in neither. Okay, second question. Of those surveyed, how many people studied in the library but not the cafeteria? Okay, so those are going to be the people that are in the library bubble but not the double lapping bubble. So that would be 92. Of those surveyed, how many studied in the cafeteria but not the library? So again, you want to be in the cafeteria bubble but not the library bubble, so that would be 63. And last, 
how many studied in either the library or the cafeteria. So that means they could have been library only, they could have been both library or cafeteria, or they could have been just the cafeteria. And if you add those together, that should be 230 people. Next, to make it a bit more in depth, they're going to start bumping this up to um, story problems that have three sets. In general, the procedure is going to be the same. You want to start by completing region five. So in case you don't remember, region five is the triple area in the middle. So if you can, you want to try to find where they all have something in common in the middle. Um, after you have that, then you want to work your way to the outside and deal with the double regions. Next. After you have the double regions, then you want to go to the singles. And then last, you want to figure out what goes on the outside um, that doesn't belong in any of the three circles. So let's look at a problem. Liberty Travel surveyed 125 potential customers. The following information was obtained. 68 wished to travel to Hawaii. 53 wished to travel to Las Vegas. 47 wished to travel to Disney World. 34 wished to travel to Hawaii and Las Vegas. 26 wished to travel to Las Vegas and Disney World. 23 wished to travel to Hawaii and Disney World. And 18 wished to travel to all three destinations. Okay, so let's scoot this out of the way and let's develop our Venn diagram. So we're going to need a bubble for Hawaii. That's where I'm going to go. A bubble for Las Vegas. And a bubble for Disney World. And then keep in mind, there could be some people who didn't want to go to either three of those places and they would end up on the outside of the circle. So I like to start with the all three zone. We have 18 that wish to travel to all three locations. So that's going to go in the triple overlapping area. And um, you've taken care of that first clue. Then I'm going to work my way up. 23 wish to travel to Hawaii and Disney World. Okay, so keep in mind, of that 23, you've already counted 18 of them. So that means you'll have five left over in the Hawaii and Disney World only. 26 wish to travel to Vegas and Disney World. So again, we've already counted 18 of these, which means we'll have eight that want to do Vegas and Disney World. 34 wish to travel to Hawaii and Vegas. So same thing. We've already accounted for 18 of these people. So we'll have to take 34 minus 18. There'll be 16 people that want to do Hawaii and Vegas. Next, you want to step out and do your double or your single regions. So 47 want to do Disney World. Okay, well, of those 47, you've already got the 18 that's in the middle, the 8 that is Vegas and Disney World, and the 5 that is Hawaii and Disney World. So if you subtracted 47, 18, 8, and 5, you'll have 16 left, and that should go in the Disney World only section. 53 want to go to Vegas. So again, you need to deduct the 16, the 18, and the 8 that are already in the Vegas bubble. That will leave you with 11 people that want to do Vegas and Vegas only. And last, 68 want to go to Hawaii. So you need to deduct the 16, the 18, and the 5 that are already in the Hawaii bubble. And that'll leave you with 29 people that want to do Hawaii and Hawaii only. 
Last, you need to figure out how many people go on the outside. So you surveyed 125 customers. You need to deduct 29, 16, 11, 5, 18, and 8, and 16 to see how many will be left over. And if you do that subtraction, there should be 22 people that want to go somewhere besides Hawaii, Las Vegas, and Disney World. Okay, once you have your Venn diagram set up, then you can go through and start answering your questions. Ah, sorry. Well, it's not wanting to separate here. Okay, sorry, I'll read you the questions because I cannot pull them up for some reason. It's latched onto something and it's not going to move. So the first question says, how many of the people surveyed did not want to go to any of the destinations? There are 22 people that did not want to go to any of the destinations. Question two, how many of the people surveyed wished to travel only to Hawaii? There was 29 people that wanted to do Hawaii only. Question three, how many of the people surveyed wished to travel to Disney and Vegas, but not Hawaii? So Disney and Vegas, but not Hawaii would be eight people. Question four, how many, or sorry, question five, how many people surveyed wished to travel to Disney or Vegas, but not Hawaii? So Disney or Vegas would be the 16, the 8, and the 11 all added together. And then you'd need to exclude that 18 and the 16. Last, how many people wished to travel to exactly one of these destinations? So exactly one would be just the people that are on the outside. So that would be your 29, your 11, and your 16.